Damn. Hmm. Turn my volume up here. Huh. It's kind of quiet. I wonder if I should play this with the controller. Uh, you can see my mouse. Hello. Mouse. Eh, don't care. Ooh, there's some music. Let's see if I can turn this music up louder without actually having to do anything. Um, play sounds window is not active. Yeah, do that. Oh, I hear it now. Doesn't this music give you a feeling? Might be a pretty good feeling, actually. So, graphic settings. Uh, where's the button that says crank it up to the max? I'm, um, to the most high. That's optimal. Mm -hmm. I could totally chill just listen to this music. Over. Hello, my dear friend. How are you doing? I know, right? That direct. That uh, Link's Awakening. People are excited about that. I'm not one of them. And I played a, that game a lot. I think it was a game. That was the Game Boy one, right? Played the game a lot, but I mean, I don't care about Legend of Zelda. So, you know, don't at me. Is that what they say? Yeah, over. That's what I'm hype about. Astral Chain looks great. Uh, another Platinum IP. I will be very excited about playing that. Um, I'm definitely going to get into that one. And they mentioned Bayonetta 3, which, I mean, should be exciting. That game doesn't really have a story or anything. But it is what it is. <laughs> so, let's see. Graphic setting, these are sweet. The sound is still good. All right, well, whatever, apply all the things I did. I don't remember where they are, but... Close. I could do... I don't want any higher resolution UI settings, that's for sure. Okay. So my data center is... One of these, I guess. Uh, primal? Yeah. Check. Yeah, so I've never played this game at all before. Um, let's see, so, world, I want to get in this one, Brindadil, Brin, Brin and since I don't have a character, I guess I have to, uh, <laughs> in my days of playtime remaining, 28 since I got the trial edition, so, we'll see if this is fun. Well, let's, look at this boy. Oh, little young man. You look like you just got that mustache the other day. Wait. Um, nope. Can't do that. Can't do that either. Can't do this. Um, I could do this dude. He's a big fella. Big boss. But no, we're just going to do a regular human looking type person. The Hior are said to have first traveled to Eorzea from her surrounding continents and islands. Three great migratory waves later, they are now the most populous of all the civilized races. They exhibit a relatively modest physique, both in height and build, and are known for their peculiarly short rounded ears. Ears are well suited for traveling long, distance, long distances by foot, a trait thought to account for their swift proliferation. 
their spouse of what eclectic variety of languages and traditions is a legacy of their diverse heritage, as is their resulting lack of unified cultural identity. Well, they're getting into something there, aren't they? <laughs> Check. Uh huh. Midlander, douche lander. The Highlanders clan, uh, population. This is like a little boy, like little boy versus a grown man adult. Uh, starting attributes 23, strength 20, dex 22, vit 18, intelligence 20, mind. I'll do the smaller, um, smarter person. What's this pose you got? Hmm. Small clothes. Nice. Uh huh. Okay. Height 50 tall, approximately 68.9 inches. Um, let's see, there's 5 and 60, it's just 5, 60, probably 60. Now, 60 inches would be 5 foot, 5 times. <laughs> Thank you for the rage, Shep. Oh man, you catch me as I like try to play this Final Fantasy 14 as I'm creating this character. I've never played this game before, so you'll have to bear with me. <laughs> Thank you for the rage, Shep. I really appreciate it. I hope your stream went well. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. So I got the um, Master Boar screws. Up. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, I mean, we'll find out. I mean, I didn't pay for it yet. I got the trials. So we'll see if uh, it turns into anything where worth playing. But it's definitely not going to be a game I play regularly on stream. That's for sure. I still don't know what I'm going to play on Wednesdays. I'm thinking about, I don't know, maybe Shining Resonance Refrain. That seems interesting. Since uh, Shappy took Tales of Berseria, which was in my heart to play. So we'll see. Oh, thanks, Admiral. I mean, I guess that's fine. Like I said, I'm not going to stream it because I wouldn't want to put anybody through that. But, you know, something to play in the downtimes might be not bad. And I heard it's okay on the controller. And I'm not sure if it's like cross play with the PS4 version either. So maybe it is. I trust Admiral Blue Tato, though. Yeah, very good. Wait, oh, wait, so you had 2,500 hours. Oh, you, I thought you said it was a master boar. Apparently not. Master of love. All right, I'm not going to be 29. Oh, it's like, boop, 69. Nice. What? Let me go. Nope. There it is. Great, Kuro. How's it going with you? Things are going very well. Welcome to the world of not having to study for everything all the time, Cora. I'm glad you're free. All right. Muscle tone. Uh, well, I got to see him in his small clothes first. Let's see what we got working with, boy. <laughs> well, he should just get smooth body, doesn't he? This really isn't that very, like, not very different. I mean, he's pretty cut here, but this is, oh, well, yeah, I guess that's wrong. It is. Why does he keep doing that dance? I don't I don't enjoy that. Just go to standing, please. Thank you. There you go. Skin color. Um Boy, they sure don't have much brown tones, do they? It's kinda like varying degrees of weird maybe here? Nope. I slide up here. I don't think they're gonna capture my undertone. <laughs> I think mm, I'll do the darker side hairstyle this is going to be fantastic a JRPG will it even what can it have for <laughs> my type of hair I'm sure it's going to be great uh, nope that's not going to be quite it I could do this yes Boy, this is not 
That's not what anybody wants, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Alright, Cora, don't 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 throw shade. You know it's gotta be the perfect character. Give me three hours though for sure. Actually it's not. Because I don't know how much of me I can put into this character. I was a weird way to say that, Mr. Cunningham. Maybe take that back. Oh, he's got like a part in braids. No. I think Boom. This is gonna be it. I mean Long on the top, short on the side. That's kind of like me. And I don't think I'm going to get any better with any of these. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I, You know, I used to be the same way, Kuro. But then it's like, I don't really have a ton of options. What is this madness right here? Why is that a thing you can do? He's a pretty man. But this hair is not gonna not gonna cut it. Yeah, and that's just a beautiful woman I've become here. I mean, this is none of this is it. So, I mean, this is short hair. It kind of looks like a weird version of a uh, DMC Dante. I don't know. I, I think I'm just gonna stick with this weird puff. Seems legit, whatever. Hair color. I'm gonna go black. Actually, I want my guy to look like a seasoned veteran, so let's put some grayness in his hair. He's a seasoned vet. He didn't. He's, this is not gonna be his first fight. Face. Face scar. Hmm, <laughs> it's me, yes. I'm here to steal your gill. Yes, give me your gill, please. Mm, I don't like what he's doing with his shin hair, but I'm hoping I can change that. This is a young man. Ah, this dude just looks so suspicious. I don't love that. I'll do this one. Cool. Y'all. At least I don't give you a ton of options, Kuro, here, so we, can, we don't have to worry about. I want to be here too long. Let's check. Iris eyes. Small. Sure. Eyebrows. I got them. But like, apparently, is a lot of rendering necessary for eyebrows. Also, I wish his eyebrow hair wasn't the same color as his hair hair. Oh, I don't like any of this. I came into oh, that's fine. I guess that's just good enough. Let's see if we can get a that's black guy ish. Black guy adjacent. Mouth. Mm -hmm. There it is. Flip color, leave it as is. Facial features. Maybe a nice little face scar. And maybe an eye scar too? Not face, not, not that, not that stuff. I really wish I could get rid of that, like, uh, mustache he's got going on here. Hmm, yeah. The twos, none. No facial features. Yeah, my guy's seen some battle, but like not too much. He's still great. Um, in eye color, let's get like a dark brown. Man, this music in the background is very good. Hope you can hear it all on the stream. That's not a color. Odd eyes. Oh man, that guy's got those odd eyes. Why is it the sound he makes there?
Yeah, I think we got it right here. Type 3. Let's go. Um, and let's just, uh... Yeah, it looks kind of cool, actually. You know, I'm going to give him, actually, black hair. He's just going to be as young as he seems. Yeah, like, right? Like, it looks pretty nice. I really wish I could do something with that mustache, but... Or is there nothing that can be done about that? Oh, wait. Oh, actually, you know what? When I take that off, he looks so young. Yeah, I think he looks a little too young when I don't have that little weird mustache on him. The little pedo stash, as I like to call it. Yeah, alright. We're good. Save appearance data. Oh, thank you for the follow, Gen 9000. I appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you didn't aren't looking for a lot of Final Fantasy 14 though, because I don't know how long how much I'm gonna play this. I mean tonight definitely playing for at least two hours, but we'll see how it sticks. Welcome to the friendship train. We play Japanese role playing games. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's do nine. Eight nine. It's my actual birthday. August night. And select your character's patron deity. Oh jeez, okay. Oh Jen, then you've come to the right place. <laughs> I appreciate the follow. Everybody's great here. Thanks for being a new friend. So this hand looks cool. <laughs> the Saiyan hand. It kind of looks like Dragon Ball Z hair. Spiked here. Ralga. Ralga, a breaker of winds. Oh, I thought I said a breaker of... <laughs> a brick of worlds, not a breaker of winds. Is the god of destruction and guardian deity of the now fallen nation of Alomigo. He commands the elements of lightning as associated with eighth moon of the Eorzean, Eorzean calendar. Ralgar's father both serves Yeah, sure. That's what we're gonna do. We believe in that with all of our heart right now. My class. Gladiator Pugilist, Rodder Lancer, Conjure, Thermaturge, and Ars Arcanist. Um I really don't know what class to do. Like I'm thinking that like maybe swear that can heal, right? But is that like, how do the classes work? Traditional techniques of hand hand combat. That's probably probably some over here, right? Conjure. Yeah, like these classes are like weirdly named. Um conscious draws uh, immediate runnings, one cane made for unworked wood. Thermotation force of terrified destruction, lies the ability to call forth and command the latent aether within oneself through deep introspection. Hmm. And I guess this is choosing our starting environment as well. Uh, the power from Jim Rutrick. I feel like I should just play it safe and then just go ahead and uh, just go like a fighting class. <laughs> Because, I mean, if I'm going to, you know, Jen, not necessarily, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I, um, so like Mondays, I will play Trails in the Sky, and for a while I was playing that, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but then I needed, like, a break, because that second chapter is extremely long, um, so this past Wednesday, I've been playing Onimusha, and then Fridays used to be Shadow Hearts, but now that's turned into Bioshock, so just as I can, <laughs> Tits Monday, <laughs> that's exactly right, you know how many times I had to avoid writing Tits as a, the short for that name, that game, <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's Tits though, Tits, um, so, yeah, so on Saturdays we're doing The Witcher, which we're almost complete with, and I'm thinking we're going to, like, actually change Saturday a lot, so maybe, like, do a, 
So I stream longer on Saturdays. So I'm not sure when I play on Wednesdays or Saturdays. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. You, um, there's a Discord if you want to join there. Just they pop up on the top of your head. Let me know because yeah, I, I'm kind of at a loss right now. You see, yeah, because the legend of the he legend of heroes, but you know, it's still trails in the sky. Them tits, tits. Pugilist, fighting close quarters, marauder. I love that word, the word marauder. Lancer, archer, conjurer, remorters. Hmm. But yeah, mostly it's just chilling out, Jen, like just chill streaming. I don't want to get everybody too hyped up or anything like that, you know, we're keeping the anxiety low. Just playing games and having fun, cracking wise, and respecting one another. Uh, let's see. <laughs> hey, thanks, Randy. How about your answer? The most important question is, which class should I play? Just whenever. Just, just pick it, and I'll just do it. <laughs> Because these names mean nothing to me, and as much as I read it, they don't really tell me anything. No one says this age is old art of the sword. I mean, I only got 30 days, Randy. Come on. <laughs> Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to go ahead and be safe into a gladiator. Oh, no. I, I do uh, have... PS4, um, PC, PS3, PS2, Switch. I pretty much play anything, anywhere. I, you know, but really though, honestly, I've been playing a lot of PC games lately. I have another set about myself, and I don't know why, because I really prefer streaming console games. Hey, I do have a PlayStation TV as well. PS TV is great. I think that that was a great purchase. That's like that's the real PlayStation classic. Um, so, so a fighter like a gladiator. Oh uh, yeah, right. I do know the traditional Final Fantasy classes: Red Mage, Black Mage, all that jazz. I really do think the PS TV is like the real PlayStation classic, though. You can play everything you want in there. You need all your Vita games and then all the PS1 classics that you can get on the PSN. It's noise. <laughs> They're just having fun now, Jen. Now I play tits on PC. And the thing with the PC version is we got the turbo button. So that slow combat, I can just zoop, pull that trigger and get out of there. Holiday, Pugilist, Monk, Marauder, Lancer, Dragoon. Oh man, I'm glad I didn't do Marauder. Because I, I don't want to be a Lancer. Well, Warrior might not be bad. I think Marauder might be the best thing to do then. Ooh. Oh, is there really on the um, PlayStation version on the because that's the Trails in the Sky. The first chapter I know is a PSP game. I didn't know they actually had that. I think the second chapter on there is too. I'd be tripping now. Um, Timber Turge, Black Me. Ooh, a summoner sounds cool. Ah, the Vita ones. Gladiator. Yep. All right, we're going to do Marauder. Check. Ah, there you go, Kuro. Now everything is illuminated. You have selected Marlboro. Marlboro, of course. The classic plant in Final Fantasy. It always gives me poison in every game I ever played. Okay, yeah, cool. Character name. Or name. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, that's a brand of uh, cigarettes here. Kuro, do you not play much Final Fantasy? Marlboro is like, that's the thing. <laughs> My first name is Mr. Last name, Cunningham. The forename and surname was between 2 and 15 characters and not total more than 20 characters combined. <laughs> oh, Koro, then you have a bright future ahead of you. Can I do this? Mr. Cunningham. Spin here. No, no problem, Rainy. Thank you for the help. Moving closer, moving to Crystal after the service play. Oh, it can't be used. This must be too long. What about just make my first name MR Cunningham? Ugh. What do you want from me? Random, 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 random. Do I really only have 12 or 20 random options? I need a four name and a surname. Anybody can help me. Anybody at all. And let's see, any mini mini mo, catch attack by his toad. That's not right. I was trying to talk about. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured out as I started typing at the end. Begin a new game with this character. Okay. Let me move myself out of the way. I bet there's a cutscene. Oh, great. <laughs> Well, Lemza. Well, that sounds interesting. I mean, it, like I said, it seems like everybody kind of really enjoys this one. Or try immediately. The queue is really an issue. Oh, there we go. Reloading. I'm sure there's going to be a cutscene. I'm just preempting this right now. Oh, wow. That's impressive, right here. Mad suspicious about this. Call upon you, Rainy. <laughs> Top tier. Let's 
game looks really good. Not very sensitive right now. Yeah, y'all right, lad. Really? There's no voice in this game. You're morning your sleep on sweating buckets besides rolling of the ship. Got your stomach churning, has it? Hmm, don't seem like seasickness. Now that I look at you, it'll be aether than I reckon. Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others, see. And we ain't too far from Vilbrand now, which is chock full of aether. Oh, that makes sense. There it is, the glamour system. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. And you always want to look fresh. That's the key. Why play MMORPG if you can't look fresh as you want to be? Urgh, might as well have been blooming seasickness. Ships leaning around like a demented Chocobo today. Or Chocobo. Chocobo. Hmm. I reckon I might head out on deck and get myself a breath of fresh air. Yeah, that's good, Kuro. I did. I played that game a little bit. Limza, Lemon, Laminza's still a fair way off. In case you're wondering, seeing as you're awake and all, how about you keep me company till we get there? Hope the guys don't want to talk too much. <laughs> Look at these little babies. What are you doing, little babies? Them youngins don't care much for conversation. See. Any road. Brennan's the name, and Bedlin's my trade. I'm having a great time today, is what he's saying. I made a new friend. Alright, well, we were on a boat. Looks like the beginning of Alundra. Oh, Kuro, we gotta get you a laptop. We gotta get you right. I uh, smell that salty sea breeze. Now then, lad, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you're one of them new adventurers, am I warm? I knew it, going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now, that's what I call living. So as long as you can avoid dying, I mean, ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days, especially. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it's like the time of the game at the time. That is that is actually pretty good. This game is actually already doing a lot of things I appreciate. What was it that first attracted you to it? Right. Um, Let's see. Why did I become an adventurer? Oh, man. Well, I would like to... Look, 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 look. My guy looks like a little potato face. Look at him. There's a little chubby jaws. It's kind of like me in real life. To gain power, to win glory, to amass fortune. Well, guess what? I keep secrets. None of that. Well, if you ain't if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might be as old Brennan as a chatterbox, but he sure as hell's ain't no busybody. <laughs> we all have a secret or three, don't we? Me? Dozens. I just slowly become this character. I get the creepy pedo mustache, start growing up in a big loop. Hey, you gotta move it. That's how you know we're talking. And I'd rather they stayed secret too, which is why I don't go sticking me nose where it ain't welcome. Just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, that's a fact. He ain't never lie. <laughs> Great joke. Why is that lady not wearing much clothes? Uh, kid. I was clearly stronger than that cannonball strike. Oop. 
chips off the starboard brow. Bow. Pirate colors. Extra seem kind of flat here, but that's okay. It's a boat. Pirates. Bloody hells. Have you no sense? Get below. <laughs> Why are you trying to say that pirate attack for you was just fun rolling raining? Like, look at these boys cutting up. <laughs> what is the world coming to? Pirates fired on a ship flying Lim Limonson. Limonson. Lomonson. Lomonson colors. Bastards either have a buttload of balls or a bugger all of her brains. Oh, he's coming in here. He's coming in hot. You can rest the easy friends. We made it out of cannon range and no buccaneer will bark. No buccaneers bark or catch this flighty temptress once the wind's in her sail. Does everybody just go to the class to talk like pirate, like, you know, ship person talk? They all went to the same school of conversation. That was too bleeding close. I'm glad one of us kept his head on his shoulders. I reckon I'd lost mine otherwise. That doesn't make sense. I don't think Brennan really would have lost his head. He seems like he's on the ship frequently enough to have been under attack more than once. If them pirates gave up the chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? All right, Randy, I appreciate your help. You have a fun time in the dungeon. Nice axe attached to nothing. You don't need it. By the way, is this your first trip to Limsa Laminsa? Um, yes, it is. It is. Well, then let's th let this journeyed itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Ahem. Limsa Laminsa prides itself on being your Yours is foremost naval power, and I just said a bunch of words that are all nonsense. Weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current admiral's civilizing influence, the city-state could almost pass her a respectable nation. you never guess she was once a rum-swilling buccaneer herself. <laughs> of course, most folks ain't so quick to change, and with a town full of Liberty loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with, like them pirates who took a fancy to us just now. Why do you guys talk like this? And if if that if, <clears throat> and if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the Sahagin Sahagin are raiding the coast just as bold as you please. Them are the sea dwelling beastmen the locals call fishbacks, in case you didn't know. That seems like a racial slur that you're using for these, uh, Sahagans. I'm just gonna call them a Sahagan. <laughs> ah, at long last, let ho! I'm beginning to regret that hair. Behold, Limsa Lamensa, a, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of Lemlin, goddess of navigation. I don't worship that god, I don't think. This is gonna creep while he's got happening. <laughs> no, it's gonna be like five On million coins. Isle, oh, now we get a voice. In the southwestern corner of the realm. Amidst the roiling waves of the Lotana Sea lies the maritime city-state of Limsa Luminsa. Yeah, I pronounced it right. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. I doubt I'm the only adventurer in this world. Lone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane.
What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? And here we were. Here's where we part ways, son. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. Then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by way of thanks for saving me arse earlier. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Wait, hold up. I thought you were just giving me something because I saved your arse earlier, but now I have to square up with you. Okay. Through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on his life's voyage. I said, worship the navigator. Swallows all. I got dark at the end. Till sea swallows all. But yeah, Cora, like 5 million in game coins, and then like 10,000 bonus coins, but at a red because they're cross currency. But the presentation's really nice. <laughs> the narrator. <laughs> yeah, that narrator is like throwing me off. <laughs> it's cool, but it's a whole thing. Hey, you there. Oh, look at him. He's just, you know, really showing out some bright colors here. Hey, I mean, you, this is my district, and I'm making my business to all the scum that washed up in it. Ah, uh, social interaction? Uh, an adventure fresh, off the, adventure fresh off the boat, is it? Well, then. Allow one of Limsa Lamensa's finest to set you on the right path. Up to a lot, I haven't got all day. This is where the game's gonna tell me how to rotate my camera and jump. First button. Oh, they're not letting me do anything. Welcome to Limsa Lamensa, a bustling city state filled with scoundrels and brigands, the rough cut diamond of the Ro 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 Rotano Sea. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. I'll do M and K right now, because that's what I'm touching. Yup, pretty standard. Looks like a game. Follow the instructions of your character and blah 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 blah. When Ray proceeds, speak to him. Space bars jump. Open the plate. No, I don't want that to happen. Hey, where in the bleeding hells do you think you're going? I told you to get over here. Okay, so I can hold right mouse and then rotate. Circle strafe. This sensitivity is not sensitive enough. Um, maybe keybind? No, I would have known that. Well, system. I don't care anymore. I'll also do that. Simple. Uh, double quest? Or double check? Double click. Non player characters offering quests can recognize the exclamation marks by the head, right click. Oh. Okay. I don't I think I know this part. You recognize as an adventure in the city state of Limsa Laminsa. You must first register yourself with the Adventurers Guild. Who would have thought? I 
Now that I'm sure you're itching to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city. And without a bit of local knowledge, you're like to get your throat slit in some piss-thinking alley. Before you do anything else, get yourself over to the Drowning Winch and then roll with the Adventurer's Guild. So like the adventurers provide some sort of protection, so that way I won't end up in a piss-stained alley, murdered, with my throat slit. It's not far, just head straight down the street and speak to Ravar. He'll show you how to work that big moving platform we call the Crow's Lift, and that'll take you up to the pub. Once you're there, look for a fellow by the name of Baderon. He's the proprietor of the winch. He might curse like an ale sodden sailor, but the man's got a spot, soft spot for wide-eyed newcomers like yourselves. He'll set you straight. Got all that? Good. Now run along and may the navigator guide you on your journey. Hey, all right, Koro. Good news, then. You do have a great sleep. Get your rest and make sure you're prepared for your tomorrow. You'll do great. Job info is always good info. You begin a quest. I will do my very best, Koro, and you have a great sleep. Use the duty list to help complete your task. Okay. Way of the Marauder. This seems right. If I press this button, can't be used here. The jump isn't great. This isn't the best jump. Actually, it's not bad. Welcome to Limsa Lamensa. If you've a mind to visit the Drowning Winch, the crow's left will take you there. Yeah, sure. We're gonna go. And Marlboro. General Ranio Prods. That's a good name. And we're gonna talk to not the Smith, but you. Yep, figured. Then we're gonna get a cutscene. Greeting to you, lad. But it'll be. Ah, uh, but you ain't here for the drinking, are you? You've come with a Monte Trier and at a Venturin. Trier and at Venturin, I reckon. Well, you'll find you'll find no shortage of work here in Limsa. The name's Batteron, and this most hospitable of austerities is the Drowning Winch. Sunflower, I don't actually. This is the first time I've ever played it. This is the very beginning. So, we'll see if I actually play it or not. <laughs> How are you doing? It's good to see you. I feel like I haven't seen you around in a while. I haven't seen your streams. Hmm. Tis also the... Omo, Omeo, the Adventurer's Guild, here in Limsa. That's all we've got. A desk specifically for Andlin Guild business. And why I seem to spend more time saving the necks of whelps like yourself than wetting the throats of me regulars. Ooh, I don't like that. Than wetting the throats of me regulars. Than wetting the throats of me regulars. Than wetting the throats of me regulars. I'm in um, the one that sounds like Benadryl. It's like Beer Hill Drill. And no, oh, Beedrill's a Pokemon. Um, it's like BR Indil Hill? Brindhill? Hmm. It's something like that. Tell you I say, what up? Ventures, I have a knack for finding trouble, see? Not that they need it in these parts. On account of there being trouble wherever you look, if you manage to steer clear of the fish bags, I feel like that's a racial term from my, my homies we met earlier, or they talked about earlier. Fish bags in the kobolds outside the city, the pirates on the inside will get you instead. Well, I hope everything's all right. Hopefully it's uh, good shit. <laughs> I've heard all about them. I know you, Jay. 
And if they don't manage, there's always the Garlean Empire to finish the job. Oh no. No one knows what they're planning, of course, but if they're planning anything, he can be sure it's to kill the lot of us. Hey, this town seems peaceful at a glance, but look again and you'll see people living in fear of what tomorrow might bring. Boy, these dialects. I, I wish that this part was voiced. There's no way I'm going to stream this game regularly. Because <laughs> I would have to read all this and that's not never going to happen. And who can blame him? After everything that's happened, Orizia took mighty blow during the calamity, but our ohms weren't the only thing that that what got wiped off the face of existence by that thrice damned bastard of a dragon. It'll, it took our bleeding memories too. Oh wow, okay, so the whole town's got amnesia. And no one's been able to explain it in a way that makes an ounce of sense. None of, oh my god, better, I'll just stop talking. None of the folks what saw it and lived to tell the tale seem to agree on how the tale actually goes. Tis all foggy like recollections from an art night on the AL. You can imagine why people might fear for the future if they can't rightly recall the past. But there is one thing we all remember, and that's the group of adventurers what laid down their lives to drag Yorza back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. <laughs> well, don't get your back snapped. <laughs> That's too much chiropractic. Need to de chiropract. Get, get put back together. Well, I say we remember, truth is, though we ain't forgotten what they did for us. This god's damn calamity spawn memory loss robbed us our, of our, their names. Oh, man. They won't even let us picture their damn faces. Tis like staring at a gulf line in the front of the sun. All you see in your mind's eye is a shadow set against a blinding glare. And that's how every bugger describes it, by the way. Give or take the odd goal. It's this what's got people calling these heroes the warriors of light. This dialogue is hurting me. <laughs> you gotta be safe, Sunflower. Don't don't break your whole body in half. If Limps ever got ever going to if Limps is ever going to put this time of darkness behind it, it's going to need ventures to help manage the fear. It's going to need new heroes like the ones we lost. Maybe one day you'll you'll be one of them. And that's why any aid we can give to adventures, effort well spent. What say you lad? You willing to lend us your strength? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like there's I mean, I don't mind the dialogue outside the context of me reading it. But I just wish Batteron would speak like a not like a ship person. S S H I P. Not a shit person. S H I T. Make me thanks to ye and to the navigator and all. I knew she seems she steered ye my way for a reason. Or Baderon, probably is how you pronounce it. Ah, uh, but listen to me yattering on like a sun-touched fishwife. Tis high time we got your mark in me book. Put your scroll right here. Just say sign it. Just let me click it. Let me just click it with my right click. Hmm. It's me, Baderon. Genero Ranio Prods, is it? And a fine name it is. Congratulations, you're now an upstanding member, member of the Adventurers Guild. You there, Adventure. Wow. Look. <laughs> I, I happen to not speak pirate. I'm going to work on it. That's a new language I can pick up. Shitty pirate. I'm going to go to Shitty Pirate 101 class. And then get trained by Master Shitty Pirate. You there, Adventure. You sailed in on the last ferry, did you not? The captain reported being attacked by a pirate vessel, and several witnesses have testified independently that a passenger matching your description went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place, sending your friend signals, were you? Sky, how's it going, my friend? It's, it's pretty neat. I mean, it looks good. 
It's a good looking game. Everybody keeps telling me that's a lot of a grind in the beginning, but that's cool because it's definitely not a game I'm going to ever be regularly streaming. I'm still kind of wondering how to fill Wednesdays. I'm thinking I might do Dark Souls. Um, because that's been a thing I've been wanting to do. But I kind of want to do Shining uh, Resonance Refrain as well. I don't know, Sky. What do you think? Any, any suggestions for a Wednesday game? Two hours at a time. And you too, if you're there still, uh, cat, if you have any ideas. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Oh man, who doesn't love Dark Souls? It's such a good game. Now, hold on just a moment there, officer. You've got the wrong bloke. This fine, upstanding young gent is my dear departed grandma's sister's niece's cousin's closest companion. Lab wouldn't be caught dead fraternizing with such unsavory elements. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. You are surely aware of the recent kid. You are surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then we cannot be too trusting of outsiders at a time when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. Yeah, Scott, I'm like heavily leaning towards Dark Souls. Hey, ye making a good point there, officer. A very good point. Very wise. Ye needn't worry, though. I keep one eye open at all times. Me and two more often than not. <laughs> now, sir, what say ye to a tankard of me finest ale afore ye return to duties, eh? What, is he gonna drink before he goes back to work? Not a watered-down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. <laughs> no. Ain't got the faintest idea what you're talking about, officer. The winch might offer some of the cheapest grog this side of Strait of Merle for, but that don't mean it won't get you good and pickled. And look, there's a chair over there just crying out to be sat on, so kick off them heavy boots, eh? Ooh, Shadow Tactics. I have heard about that. And um, that's like a stealth game, kind of a, not top down, but maybe like an isometric view. That looks really interesting. I, I saw... A long time ago, a giant bomb quick look of that one. That looks really promising. And I don't know if it's uh, on PC. I, I'm pretty sure it's only on PC. It might be on PC, PS4 as well. Yeah, I'm going to download that demo then and check that out. Um, because I've been thinking about getting that actually for a little bit. I'm not generally pretty good at stealth, but in, who cares? It's going to be fun either way. And some of the animation I remember looks pretty cool. But yeah, good suggestion, Jen. I'll definitely check that demo. If anything, I'll make a video about it. <laughs> Ain't got the faintest idea what you're talking about. Blah, blah, blah. Pull the chair. Gotcha. I just want you guys to know that we have been playing for this game for 58 minutes. And I have yet to kill a single rat, a bird, um, a kobold, or a cactuar. Y'all have to excuse these eager bloody yellow jackets. <laughs> There's been a spade of kidnapping sea and they ain't got a clue who's behind them. Naturally, they're taken to clapping irons on anyone who looks vaguely suspicious, which means adventurers, visitors, and pretty much every bugger else in this town. Man, this guy's face. I made it. I did this. I made him this way. And I don't, I wish I didn't. This mustache still is really bad. His face is so doughy. Don't take it personal, though. Us Lominsons can be an edstrong bunch of bastards. To sure, but given time, we'll grow on you. Now, where was I? And Jen, did you uh, complete a Shadow Tactics? Or are you just, like, have enjoyed what you played so far? Oh, hey, welcome to Lamosa Lominsa, whatever. <laughs> Where's the sea as green as faces of me patrons after a few too many black belly whiskeys? Yeah, the scar is good. I think it's just his facial structure that makes it look like he's like a chubby baby. Hey, hello, chubby baby. It's nice that we're going to be adventuring together for the next 2,000 years. That's good. That's good, Jen. Yeah. I'm going to check it out for sure because I did like what I saw when I looked at that quick look. Now, take a moment to gather your wits, and we'll get started with learning you the ways of the city. Now, I think I'm going to break up Saturdays with, like, smaller indie games. That's not true. I'm going to play whatever. It doesn't matter. 
Definitely gonna check out Copy Kitty though. Oh man, this concludes the introductory game tutorial. You're taking your first tip as an adventure in the city of Limsa Lamensa. Listen well to the wisdom of Baderon Ten Fingers, then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Alright. Okay. We do. Is this a thing as though? Still a thing. Uh, as long as RPGs exist. I don't need to learn that. Oh, so you've got quests from here. Oh, God Eater. I'm actually playing God Eater 2 right now because I wanted to see if I would want to play God Eater 3. I mean, but then I've also played like 100 hours of Monster Hunter, so I probably gonna, am going to like God Eater 3. Do you play any of those, the hunting games, anybody? Because I would like to create a hunting party in whatever game if I don't stream it. I guess I'm just talking about friendship. Batter on Pirata, draw. I don't care. What do you want me to do, dude? Right then, let's start off. Um, God Eater, I would recommend it if you like monster, like hunting style games where the loop is go out and then come back and craft. Go out, come back and craft. Now, the story seems interesting. Um, but, I mean, you know, it is what it is. You just have to kind of like that kind of game, and I think the most fun it's had when you play with a group. Just like Monster Hunter. But I think Monster Hunter is just a bit slower. Right then, let's start off nice and easy with three tasks that will help you get used to your life in Limsa. Firstly, if you head down the floor, then point your nose to the west, you'll get an eye full of the great glowing crystal in the middle of the courtyard. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. I appreciate that. Nice tits video. Trails in the sky, everybody. Relax. We haven't made that triple X channel yet. <laughs> That's an eighth year. Eighth, right. Oh, an astroneer looks kind of interesting, too, but again, not really a stream game. Device. What can move you from one place to another in the blink of an eye ain't no swifter way to travel. Brian, there's an eighth year where you want to go, of course. Have a chat with Yellow Jacket. Okay, fine. fine. Yep. Follow the quest markers. Gotcha. Well, the last time we have one ends, so let's just meet some fellow axe wheelers of the Marauders Guild. Until you learn a few new tricks for some of that Ed Splitter of yours if you join your crew. Blothoda at the front desk is there. It's the one to get you started. Got it. That all lads, see is done, three tasks, and I'll John around, city, blah, 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 talk it up, bugger up, go up, mm mm, -mm. yep, yep. Look at this cool cat. If you've time, I'd speak to the advice smith. Here in the winch, the lads is bare, lads is bare, that title has some fine advice for them what you're starting out in the profession, and that, my lad, is how you go about becoming a legend among adventurers. Jesus. How do you know we're talking about him? <sighs> mm. Yep. Navigate. Okay. That is a map. That's how that works. I can zoom this around by just wheeling around. I can talk to you. Can I click you from a distance and run up? Oh, I don't have to do that. Which, look at this, a shiny new adventure. There's a close lab, some information that might just help you put, you know, the map here in Limsa. A bunch of herbs. Okay, so. Already, I'm clicking through the quests. Maybe I should have just played uh, the Old Republic instead. They voice stuff, right? No, not yet. Is there anything else in here I need to be touching, looking at, finagling? Fiddling or meddling with. Oops. Character models look all right in this game. They're kind of flat on the texture side, but no RPG. I mean, like. Oh, scraps and bush my Okay.
but they want me to talk to somebody. Uh, they probably want me to talk to the smith. Yep, I know how to navigate. Uh, yep, cool. Okay, I'm just gonna go down here and use the elevator. Which is gonna help us uh, render the next room. Look, these are real. That's a real person, right? Great, I get to pick up garbage on the ground. Classic adventure. This is how you make a mark. Clean up the streets. Oh, Sky, you don't have to tell me to do that twice either. I've been playing that game a lot. I'll probably play like uh, where I'm at at some point. I'm not, I don't want to do a whole playthrough because that would be a lot because that's not that good. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys where I'm at and um, you guys can kind of see if you like it or not. I like it a lot. It's a neat game. It's got tank combat and like that's fantastic. That's kind of what I want to get into more is kind of showing some more games on. Yeah. Save for the crowd, Sky. Save for the crowd. Though it did take me a little while to put together that you were a Spider-Man also. I did take a minute. Just sorry, I forgot to spare. Hmm. Okay. Almost give this, do this thing, press this exclamation mark. But yeah, no, that game was great. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> Because you mentioned it and I did some mental math. I was like, oh, that's who he is. Got it. I really pay attention. Like now that in my life for the past two plus years I have not drank alcohol, I'm really good at remembering things and putting together two and two. <laughs> okay, so I just drag and drop this. Yeah, sweet. There's highly illegal blooms on its dream flowers. Oh, here we go. There are the prime ingredient in the creation of Somnus, a substance whose fragrance is said to lull the sniffer's mind into the sleep of death. Forgive me, I cannot resist the jest. These herbs are not more than Othic lavender, a common enough export from Limsa Lamensa. In fact, these probably spilled from crates that were loaded onto my very own ship. I think someone's been having a bit of fun with you, son, but... Not to worry, you've learned a few things and made a new acquaintance. Well met. Well met. What do you want me to do now? Alright, let's accept this quest and run. Close to home. I know I'm supposed to look at this. This is that thing I'm supposed to do. I guess this is making my, like, home world this place. Oh, cutscene. Ah, uh, another novice adventure. Hey, Batteron sent more than a few of your kind this way of late. Oh? I'm bigger than you. I'm Sundamal, one of the Yellow Jackets tasked with keeping the peace in the city. It's also my charge to provide guidance in the use of this device. Fear not, I shall be brief. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, hey, what's up? I'm huge. And my chest is showing. But no, um, there's definitely... Because I have, like, a lot of games and stuff, so there's definitely a component of streaming where I just want to, like, show some games that I have and see how people like them. I may play more based on that. Like, check it out. Maybe I'll do that on YouTube, I don't know. Kinda used to do that a little bit. Many of the rods are crystalline structures that tap into aetheral energies. They are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport, the most common transportation spells, make direct use of aetherites and their connections to the flow of aether. And these and as these devices are found in almost every corner of Erosia. Any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune himself to each one. 
Once you've expanded your horizons beyond the walls of the city, you will soon find yourself performing the act of attunement as a matter of course. There is, however, no need to, for unseemly haste. The aetherites found in and around the city will be sufficient for the present, I assure you. Should you wish to learn more about the aetherites or transportation magic, I'll be here to answer your questions. Those are fast travel points. Return learned. Will I return before I learn? You would able to use the return spell. Neat. Okay, stop tutorials. I get it. Do the thing to make the thing in games. I have played God of War. Um, I did not complete it. I got so sick of climbing that mountain. I'm like, we keep going through all these ordeals and we keep going back and forth. Can we just drop those ashes off right here? Um, I'm, I'm actually considering coming back to that one though. That's an excellent game. And it feels good. But the story, man, it just drags. Shoggle, Sweet X is beauteous, Gobi, and Craftsman, a smart trade maker. Yeah, it, it feels good. And I played it on like the harder difficulty, which made it, to me, more fun. Uh, because I had to, you know, really go through it. But I don't know if I would do that again a second time. Probably put it down to like standard difficulty and just go in. Because it feels so good and, and hit killing stuff. Reminds me a lot of God Hand. Sweetnix makes busy deal with Uplanders. Oh, which tales? I I'm looking at Tales of the Abyss right now as we speak. Yeah. Ooh. And um, I'm actually currently playing Tales of Vesperia on the Switch. Sweetnix makes busy deal. What is this? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I've seen it, seen the uh, ending of it. it. It's good, Jen. I, I definitely don't want to make it seem like I don't think it's a good game. It just, I just kind of fell, fell off on it, but I fell off probably like 30 hours in. I actually recorded it, like most of that because I streamed that a long time ago. Well, that's a random one to play, Sky. <laughs> hey, I, I didn't, you know, well, sort of. God Hand is a is an interesting game. It's a PS2. You can get it on PSN as well. Um, it's a challenging game, but it's shot. It's like from the same perspective, a third person, like kind of over the shoulder. That Resident Evil V4 view. Oh, and there's also Resident Evil 2. I'm not gonna play that right now because everybody in the world's streaming that, and I feel like I've learned everything about that game through osmosis. <laughs> Yep. So I wonder if I just RE4. Yeah, actually I just recently played through Resident Evil 6. The action game. That is, Resident Evil 4 seems cool, but I don't know if I would I think I, I have that on PC, and I think I have it on PS4 as well, but I would definitely play it on PC. Mouse and keyboard all day when it comes to shooting. Okay, so what's up? We're just like kind of running errands at this point, huh? Oh, we're in a cutscene. Whoa, look at that dignified large man. I'm most grateful to have it back. This tool is a keepsake for my days as a ship captain. You see, Needless to say, your good deed must be repaid, and what better recompense than the wisdom of a master merchant? If it's simple and sturdy adventuring equipment you seek, you'd look no further than the east and west arms of Hawker's Alley. Lest you doubt, each guild you invest in arms and armor will be money well spent. Adventuring is, after all, a dangerous profession by its very nature. Oh, oh, for sure, Sky. Like, it's a... It's a bad Resident Evil game, but it felt really good shooting those zombies in the head, the way their head exploded when you got a critical. Like, I mean, I felt happy. I mean, I felt good, and I would definitely do it again, especially if you play cooperatively. It goes without saying, Hawker's Alley boasts stall specialized in the tools of every magical martial discipline imaginable. 
and within but a few steps are bazaars and apothecaries that will most amply, most amply supply all of your potion and perishable needs. Our keen-eyed agents procure a frankly befuddled range of wares during their search warrants to distant shores. That pays to become familiar with the type and price of the goods offered by each stall. Jeez, man. Such knowledge will serve you well if your purse is light and your time is short. Yeah, I've actually um, downloaded Resident Evil 5 because for whatever reason, it seems I'm going backwards through the series. <laughs> so, and actually, and I was playing Code Veronica on this 4 and I, don't, I remember liking that game a lot, but now that I was playing again, like, uh, it seems kind of, I don't know now, as Code Veronica X on the PS4, you can play as a, I think, PS2 classic. Uh, but verbal instruction of this kind will only profit you so much. Experience has, experience has ever been the surest teacher, the kindest. I invite you, if not the kindest, I invite you to explore the market for yourself. I did. I listened to the explanation. Cool. Now I get to talk to these people. Neat. Just gotta skip past this. Nice. Ooh, that good Final Fantasy sound. That sting. Uh, Code Veronica Axis. It's pretty... I mean, it's, it's very much that brand of Resident Evil, you know, the old, I think that's like the last one that is like basically that seemed like they required tank controls. <laughs> because I think after that, there was four. I think that's how it went and four went to the over shoulder uh, view. Yeah, I think I said they haven't, aren't gonna make me talk to everybody. There's something this way. Yeah, I mean, I would think it's it's worth the, you know, worth the time to play. I think I actually have at least two hours of playing it on YouTube. Somewhere buried in there. I'm constantly changing what I have on YouTube now. Kyokoru welcomes welcome customer. I'm not gonna read your stuff. You sound a psychopath. Look at that. Oops. Nope. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, to that extent, right? Like, God of War has tank controls. You know, it makes sense for some perspectives, but it's not not all of them. I mean, you know, with a fixed camera, that's just really hard. Oh, look who, who came to defend their game. Hello, Stardust. God of War is a great game. I'm not saying it's not. I agree. The story just kind of drags sometimes. And I don't have a kid, so Special Boy didn't really grow on me very much. Boy, look at that, though. That's colorful. Topaz Carbuncle. I mean, yeah, it, it, yeah, I think the tank controls fit in that case. It was just like when it has to fix the camera games like uh, your resis. That's where it can be tough. But though, I will say going back now to like play the original Resident Evil remake. Well, I can't imagine playing that game without tank control. You know, but that weird when the camera changes, like having to hold the same direction and it being like up the left and you run to the bottom right and it's just all weird. Special boy, I did have a, a spot for him until after he murdered that man, then he got all weird. I murdered that man and now I'm crazy. Well, your game of the year is not really a 2018 game. I don't think. I don't think Sinwa's Sacrifice was 
I don't want to be a, a fisher. Nope. I'm not trying to get a subclass right now. Or, you know, a profession, I should say. All right, kid, let's talk. Yep, yeah, let's just keep on running. 2028. Should be a 2028 game. Nah, I mean, your game of the year could be whatever you want it to be, really. Whatever you played a lot of that year. I still am not sure what game is going to be my be my game of the year for. Ooh, I wonder if I can just. Nope, gotta go back up. But I don't know what I like what I played the most last year. Well, I mean that's always my game of the year, and that might be what I played the most. But actually, you know that might still be true. Because I did replay through Bloodborne last year. Hmm. Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption is a well-made game that I do not want to continue to play. It's like fantastic. <laughs> that good old remaster came out. Um... Let's see. Do I have a list? I guess now. I guess I should do that. Um, make a list. I mean, generally speaking, like all of it's available um, on the YouTube, my YouTube channel. I'm um, just like under playlists. So, like, I think recently I played through Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a great game. Uh, one of the Tomb Raider games. Um, yeah. But yeah. It might not be explicitly listed, but uh, yeah, I probably should just like add that to my channel somewhere. Oh yeah, I did play Gris. I don't even know where I'm running around right now. Yeah, that's true. I'm I'm starting to do a thing now where I'll like make a little short little snippet video on my Instagram um, of like I complete when I complete a game, like completed on this date or whatever. Yeah, I've done it for, I did it for Resident Evil 6 and for, uh, oh, Momodora Reverie. I made that game this year, and right now that would be my game of the year. It was the game of the year, running around this town lost. Donut County. <laughs> did you, you didn't play Donut County Stardust, did you? <laughs> the new... Yeah, you know, people really didn't seem to like that game. I knew Stardust played through it on her uh, Twitch channel. And she didn't seem thrilled about it. And she's a big Tomb Raider fan. I'm not a fan of this running around. Like, <laughs> you like want me to go down? Navigating around this town sucks. So I need to get, okay, yeah, I think I can do this. This is it. Oh, the little blue line. Tomb Raider. Good old Tomb Raider. I mean, it looked like the gameplay is like exactly the same, but it, I don't know. Apparently, the storyline wasn't exactly what one might want. You know, Jim makes a good point, though. I should really make a games list, I guess, you know? That would like help me out a lot as well, because I totally forget what I play. Nah, yeah, we're not. You can't give us a boat, because that's a crazy thing to ask for. I'll take potion because I don't use magic probably. And she's so, but you know, she's so comfortable with murder right now. Mm. 
Jonah. Hey, Lord, I'm in love with you. I'm afraid to tell you my secret feelings. Hey, Laura, I'm going to possibly die. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, what's this music? Where's it coming from? Sounds nice. Hmm. Nice music. Hey, Okalai Gakaka. <laughs> if you're looking for a place to wet your whistle, scra Scrag, I advise you turn tail and run. Alright, so it's in a bad mood. Folks, we used. Neil after targeting Rosalyn. Where's Rosalyn? It's oh, here you go. Target you. Backslash Neil. Yeah, it seemed like I did a good job. Nice. Her, her. <laughs> oh, so I know the place is good. Only Krakens are the same. Blah, blah, blah. Backslash Neil. Oh. I hear you. Walling your self pity. Oh, show Rosen that you're backslash disappointed. I started that one um, uh, a while back. I have the three pack. I think it's three. There's like pack, then like the second one, and there's a third one. That that game kind of started to stick with me, but I just didn't give it enough time. It's a real commitment because I'd want to play through all of them. No, I don't know how to spell the word disappointed. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> And I I really do like action RPGs, so I think that's what's going to draw me to come back to that game. Hmm. So, do you know something on me, pain? But your symphony ain't worth more a pain piss. I mean, yeah. If there's stuff you like, because I have it. Like I said, I don't mind cutting on the stream and just like, and you know, we can. Play around in a little while for to check those things out. Let me know. Fire it up anytime. It's well and good. We got the Admiral or whatever game. I should probably find a place to list the games that I have available to me at any given point. So it makes it easier to select something that you know, we can play. It's not that I'm not willing to get anything else, but I mean, you know, at least what you already have. Maybe it'll give people ideas of what's interesting to them. We built our reputation of Reven right off the coast of Veilbrand. These guys, they all talk and I show them that we're disappointed. I got a backslash rally. Look at that. What a douche. No way, I didn't backslash rally at him. I just rallied in general. Huh? You trying to make light of my dilemma? Okay, what else do you want? Okay, so I did that. We, we learned how to use emotes. There's this fancy music again. I gather you're meeting with a capital well. Completed. Boom, level two, and I never had to lift a sword. Or in my case, an axe. 
Sky, I'm right with you. I'm just running around, clicking the buttons. Just doing the uh, MMORPG thing. Just like... I wonder if I should periodically on Saturdays bore you guys and make you guys watch me play Battletech. That's always how my life is just... Look at this dude. Fresh armor. Fresh blade. What is the first person camera? Probably I just don't know it. Past you. Uh, it's a mech strategy game, like a tactics game, where you attack other mechs with all kinds of stuff, and there's a storyline and everything as well. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, look at that little pixel there. You should, nobody should ever be looking at uh, RPGs this closely. I apologize to everyone. Wouldn't it be great if he was? What if that was just like... Was it Trevor Beaumont? Trevor. It's Trevor. Beaumont. Why does those words not sound right in my mouth? He's gonna fulfill Simon's quest. Looks like they want me to go up here to talk to you. <laughs> the Xenoverse. Oh man, I was so bad at those games. Like the over the shoulder Dragon Ball Z games. It's not like I'm substantially better at like Dragon Ball Fighters or anything, but still. I was super bad at the other ones. At least Fighters was kind of it's kinda like Street Fighter. It's the same thing with those Naruto games that are kind of built by the same like with the same Bandai way. Here, take this bag. I did great. Booze, furry, <laughs> furry, fury. I did not try that. I don't know what that is. Oh wait, yeah, Marauders Guild, this is where I need to be, because it's for my class. Well, you guys, there's one thing I can tell you for sure, I'm never gonna stream an MMORPG again. Unless, <laughs> like, unless it's under very rare circumstances. Oh, that sounds gonna be terrible, Sky. DBZ, RPG for the Game Boy Advanced. Yes, I'm wearing zones. I don't care about this. Well, maybe it's, I mean, was it good? Because I'm assuming a lot of shade at it, but maybe it was good. Yeah, I'm prepared for carnage. Very well, your name attend me. Well then, Jinuro. Hold fast to this moment of dedication. The path of the Marauder is a jagged and perilous one. The blood that spills at your feet will oft times be your own. That seems impossible, Sky. Don't tell me terrible lies. <laughs> you stand now as a student of the axe. Let us waste no time in testing the edge of your chosen weapon. Okay. Winzo Wern Wernzo and I gotta say, you guys did waste a lot of time in testing the edge of my chosen weapon. We have been playing this game for one hour and 34 minutes and 30 seconds. And let us waste no time in testing the edge of your chosen weapon. Aha. You've wasted plenty of time, sir. <laughs> I guess so, man. I'll have to, I guess I'll have to look at some videos on YouTube or something because that thing you said sounds crazy. But trust you. I believe you, so. 
It's gonna verify if I look in on the YouTubes and see if there is. I wonder what kind of combat it has. Go forth and slay the be bleeding, scurrying, crawling pest that plague the outskirts of Limsa Lamonsa. Lamonsa. Lost lambs, wharf rats, and little ladybugs shall be your pietous, piteous adversaries this day. Return me once three of the creatures. Each curse has fallen to your blade. Oh, thank goodness. Let me get outside, please. Let's map this one and that one only. Hey, wherever I gotta go is where I'm gonna go. Gotta check yourself before you ever get to wreck yourself. Gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah, this is definitely a game that you can play maybe like if you are good at doing like chatting streams and you wanna hang on with your bros and chat about life. Cause I mean, I'm just running right now. Apex, people are loving that game. I'm like intimidated a bit. I don't really play like I haven't really played one of those battle royale games since PUBG. And even that, I wouldn't say it was successful like a successful experience. <laughs> but I'm definitely down to play that. It looks sick. I did enjoy Titanfall, so. Oh my god, video game, don't make this to where I don't know how to get outside. Okay, I gotta go downstairs. There we go. Let's jump. Go! Apex. Do you play Apex Scott? What do you play? That's my question. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the problem. My teammates. Yeah, they were the one holding me back. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't be the other way around. It would be the other way around. It was, this is a goof I'm making. It's a goof em up. Classic Cunningham goof em ups. Do not end. My god, this whole area is just clustered. So to get, I want to get over this, okay, so I don't care about that. I want to go way of the Marauder. Show me the map. So right now, so I need to go downstairs more? Or is that up above me? This is up above me. It's got to be above me. So let's see if we can roll back up that ramp we just ran down. <laughs> oh, so you play uh, Apex as well. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes you gotta let people die. Let them die. Okay, there's gotta be another upstairs area I can go to. Is it elevator guy? Yeah, here's elevator guy. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, okay. This is the drying winch, is it? I'm in the drying winch right now. Or can I just walk out from here? I made it seem like I could leave earlier. Nope, this is definitely not the right path. Is it? <laughs> Otherwise, I'd let him. Ah. Uh. Okay. That takes me backwards. I'm gonna go up this little like elevator. Maybe the elevator is gonna be the I'm giving you something, dude. Oh. Okay, cool. Oh, nothing. Back here talking to you. Yeah, I mean it. It seems fun, and but I feel like I'd want like a three man or a two other people to go in with me that I like know at least because voice chatting with the open internet rough. 
Heck, even streaming to the open internet's rough sometimes. I just want to get outside and kill a thing in this game. I just can't like even figure out how to get. I just want to go there. Is that where? Like it looks like it's over there. Maybe if I just look at this ground, how do I get down there? That's that's it. It's way down. That looks like a path to down. Yeah, lower decks. Okay. Are we low enough? Huh? Looks like it. I did. I did do Valkyrie Chronicles. That's the one I got stuck on the Mega Tank. I never got back to it. So. Then I watched uh, another one of my stream buds finish it and I was like man sure don't want to play that game anymore <laughs> but I got it on the switch like I've, I have that on the switch along with PC and unfortunately like PS4 and everything and it runs kind of bad on the switch so uh, how do you fight there's a trolley team good gravy well Guess what? This is the first thing we've killed this entire time, Randy. This is literally the first kill. Killing some rats. I don't think that's the thing I'm supposed to be fighting. Oops. So I guess I gotta kill more of the things. I mean, it runs ground PS4, just it looks terrible on Switch. In my, op in my humble opinion. Where I click on the target. Hot bar stuff. Got that. <laughs> That's what you do when you got some of this overpower, though. Just let them do it. I don't know why I thought there was like more actual, I don't know, active combat in this game. I guess not. Hang out. That little ladybug hit me right inside the head. Oops, didn't like that, did you? Oh wait, I gotta, okay, I can, there we go. Now I see. So I do have an ability, it's quick refreshing too, I like that. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. And a new ability. What does that do? Skull Sunder. Delivers an attack with a potency of 100. What action? Heavy swing. Nice. Let me fight bad guys. Combos. <laughs> Dude, you know my secret truth is that... uh. The first Kingdom Hearts was too hard for me and I couldn't beat Ansem. <laughs> I flew around and floated around and I just could not do it. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at here. I wonder, like, what's my good order here? Melee, because they're talking about combos here. So I wonder if I can... Through Twist. I do one, two, and then it does good, good jazz. Well, you're a bad guy. I'll tab. So. Huh. This is probably two, one. Oh. Oh, yeah, the will. The lingering will. So, 
Hmm. I wonder if it's supposed to be, it means it wants to be like 2 1. The 2 1 combo. Or if either of these are like that thing. No, it must be a 1 2 combo. Yeah. Because there are yellow dots around the. Like around the two after I do a one, so I think that must imply that that's a combo. Also, do I have to like? This is my guy. I need to do anything. And skill two: increase enmity. All right, so you double it to yourself. Enmity increase enmity. There we go. So, enmity, enmity, enmity is like threat in this game, I guess. Like, uh, like your aggro. Look at these two. Look at that nice little one shot. I guess I should be killing those things since I need to kill those fellas, too. of Axe Master. I don't want to go back. Right? Like, they've done some nice stuff with the, the quest indication. Alright, Janae, I appreciate the follow. And, um, yeah. If you have any ideas on what to play, let us know. Sky, I believe in you. You can definitely do it. Never give up on uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Never. What's over here? Rocks and a hard place. Huh. They really are. Yeah, but I mean, I only have that one crystal, right? So. Like, I can only, I can teleport and return back to it, but if I was headed back to the town, that'd be good. Unless, wait, maybe this is the town. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Seems like it. Well, yeah, but that's where you gotta do the grinding between, Scott. You gotta go and, and get those random battles to power up your team. And seek out the new classes, then... You'll have to find something fast enough to kill a mage before it can kill you. Oh. I should pay attention to those. Like, I've seen the main, like, the one. There, but I haven't really like paid attention for other ones. That seems solid though to pay attention to that. Because running around this town has proven to be a little confusing. Oh, you know what, though? I think that's enough of this game right now. Yeah, we'll come back. Well, I mean, I'll play this game sometime that's not streaming. I'm going to try, before it gets too late, I want to try a different game. I managed to tell no thanks to my good, good friend, Rainy. I think I have downloaded Copy Kitty. It did. It did. That's my computer making computer noises. Don't worry about it. Don't bring attention to it. <laughs> I didn't set this up before, so it's going to take a little second.
But yeah, I'm still kind of like a... <laughs> right? Like, I'm, I, would, I tried really hard this time to like read the story and do everything, but all of it was just so much. And I'm like, geez, Louise. Well, first, I need to configure this to where it's... Um, not probably not too long tonight because I, I what I'm looking at like and how long the game is. I want to probably do it on a Saturday, and I'm just gonna really go in on it. Bit monitor. Okay. Sorry, you can hear all the sounds. I'm gonna wait for it to go full screen. Go. But yeah, I'm 